Okay, so the question says, write the sample space for the following experiments and determine the probability of the required event. So a coin is tossed and one six-sided die is rolled at the same time. So we're going to figure out, um, sorry, we're going to figure out the sample space and then the probability here. So when we talk about the sample space here, if we're going to toss a coin and, and roll one six-sided die at the same time here, our sample space is going to be, the set of points is going to look like this. It'll be heads and a one, heads and a two, heads and a three, whoops, heads and a four, heads and a five, no oh boy, heads and a six, or tails and a one, tails and a two, tails and a three, tails and a four, tails and a five, tails and a six. So there's our set of outcomes right there. So what is the probability of getting the heads and a five? Well, there was only one of those events out of a possibility of 12, okay? Now, this next one here says, what was the probability of getting a head and either a four or a two? Okay, well, a head and a four or a two, there's two events out of the 12 that we've got here total in our sample space. And that amounts to a one-sixth probability when I simplify the fraction, okay? Now, let's take a quick look here. A red and a white die is tossed. Use a diagram. Okay, well, I'm going to use a, a lattice diagram. Okay, and so the way a lattice diagram works here is we're going to have the, let's say, the red die here. We'll have the white die here. So I'm going to have, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so what I'll do is I'm going to draw a line for every outcome. Now sometimes you use a table, but I'm just going to use a this lattice diagram here, and I'm going to draw a line for every outcome here. So every point of intersection, okay, every point of intersection refers to a specific outcome related to this, to this uh, question here. So this is really giving me my sample space here. Now, and I've got six lines, six lines. There are 36 different outcomes here. Now, I'm looking for a sum of six, okay? So a sum of six here, uh, well, can't have six as one of the options here, but I could have five, could be five and one, that would give me a six. Uh, four and a two, two threes together would give me a six, uh, two and a four, and a one and a five would give me a six. No, so that is going to be, the probability that that occurs is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, out of the total of 36 different outcomes that I've got there, okay? So now let's, let me simplify or clean this up a little bit, and we'll start again. Okay, next one. I want a sum greater than eight. Sum greater than eight, okay. Uh, well, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at what happens if I roll a six. Well, to get a sum greater than eight, the result here's gotta be at least three. So it could be three, four, five, or six. Each of those will give me a sum greater than eight here. For five, it's gotta be bigger than a three. It's gotta be a four, another four that I roll here. So five and a four, five and a five, five and a six. For four, four and four won't do it, but four and five will. So we'll four and six. Uh, for three, can't be three and five, gotta be three and six. And then for the rest of these, there's no way to do that. So now I count these all up here, all these ones I've identified. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the probability of getting a sum greater than eight would be 10 out of 36, and each of those is divisible by two, so I could reduce that down to five over 18. Okay, now I could erase this right now to simplify it, but I'm gonna do this a little bit. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll use a different symbol here or, or something else here. I'm looking for a, the probability of getting a pair. Both numbers are the same. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. So there would be uh, a one and a one, maybe I'll fill in this circle, two and a two, be right there, three and a three, four and a four, five and a five, six and a six. So there are six possibilities out of the total of 36 different outcomes, so the probability is one sixth. Anything but a pair. Oh, okay, well that's just the complement of this event, if you will, okay? So if there are six events here, that are pairs, there's, look at everything else that isn't highlighted, well, there's gotta be 30 of them. 
Okay, if there are six pairs out of 36, then there's got to be 30 that aren't pairs, and I reduce that down, that's going to be 5 sixths. Now, when you add these together, the result should be 1, right? Because these are, are complements. They should be covering the entire sample space together. And actually, they are. 1 sixth and 5 sixths is 6 sixths, 1. Okay, so the math kind of supports what the, the theory should be behind this.